everybody it's me LaRasha goddess queen just me 23 and this is gonna be um, a video it's gonna be for air signs so this is gonna be for Aquarius Gemini and Libra and this is gonna be a love um, reading so again air signs all air signs this video is gonna be for you so let's see exactly what's going on with um, the love life as far as Aquarius's, Gemini's, and Libra's. Let's see what's going on. The cards have already been shuffled. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut them on camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius's, Gemini, and Libra's. Okay, so Aquarius says, let's see what's going on with you. So we have deception here. So we have somebody is wearing a false self mask in the, this relationship. So some of y'all Aquariuses could be dealing with somebody that um, has been overall deceitful to you. Um, there could be some things that have been hidden. This person has not been showing their true self to you. Or this can be also you Aquarius. Some of y'all could be not, you know, showing people who you really are. Some of y'all could be also the deception. It does not necessarily have to be betrayal um, or, you know, deception. The deception could be some of you Aquariuses are not opening up and being truthful how you feel about a certain person. So you can also be wearing a false mask with that. But again, some of y'all are noticing some of the people that you have that's around your environment as friends and family members. Some of their, they have been wearing some type of mask, you know, be, not being real, not being true, you know, you know, frenemies pretty much them. And I see a lot of y'all are realizing certain people that have been in your life, you know, were not true people to you. Um, some of y'all, like I said, are hiding your feelings. You're wanting to show your passion to a certain individual or a certain person. This person you have, you know, deep emotional emotions for, for. some of y'all also Aquarius are not, you know, being, you know, you're trying to seek the passion. You're trying to seek the confidence within yourself, but I'm seeing some of y'all are still holding back. Some of y'all are not, you know, showing the world who you truly can be. Um, some of y'all are seeking that passion. Some of y'all are trying to be a little bit more, you know, confident, a little bit more, you know, determined. Some of y'all have been going through self, self esteem issues is what I'm getting from that. Some, some of y'all could have had a little bit of insecurities, but I'm seeing that y'all are getting over that. But this is about you basically being, um, in a place where you are happy. This is about you you know, reaching for the things in order for you to find emotional ful fulfillment is what I'm getting from this. And then some of y'all, like I said, um, have, you know, are put yourself in situations as far as, let's say, Aquarius, if you are in a relationship or if you were dealing with somebody that was in your past um, that caused you to lose, you know, who you are, um, you, you're not that fun, you know, that 
outgoing person that you used to be and i'm seeing some of y'all are missing that side of you so i'm seeing some of y'all are holding back some of y'all are dealing with people that's in your life that have been very deceptive um they've been sneaky you know being very mistrusting some of y'all are reaching for your desires is what i'm getting from this okay um the next card that we have is birthday so a significant birthday holds the answer to um your question aquarius seasons it's in almost the end of the year so some of y'all are going through major transformations as far as you know rebuilding yourself you going within you gaining the confidence and you gaining the strength and you just doing the things that you need to do to heal so this is basically to me it's telling me aquarius when aquarius seasons comes out um comes around a lot of y'all are going to be transforming a lot of y'all are going to be you know letting go of you know the old you um if you have been being um defeatful if you have been you know not showing your true self i'm seeing a lot of y'all are going to be allowing yourself to purge properly and you know allow your dna activations to come in is what i'm getting from this too there could also be a birthday that's at the end of this year or getting ready to take up that something could be um coming um uh, revealed to you and this is where you're going to be finding out that somebody is being overall deceptive is what i'm getting from this too um the next card that we said is uh, here is is meditation bring answers so they're telling you you need to do the things that you need to do in order for you to feel heal spiritually physically and and mentally in order for you to gain the answers in order for you to gain the knowledge in order for you to be able to be in oneness with the universe so they're telling you to meditate um if you don't do meditation start exercising go walking take salt baths lavender baths sea salt baths epping soft baths um just connecting with within yourself reaching for that higher you in order for you to be able to get the messages and get the synchronicities from the universe and your higher self and your god your guides is what i'm getting from this so they're saying once you do that it would also start helping you um heal yourself properly and that's when you're going to start noticing the passion so we have a 25 here um that is a seven this is about mystery so it once you decide to go into that that once you start going more spiritually um you know transforming to a more spiritual act outlook as far as like let's say chakras you know reiki or astrology it's you moving into that stepping stone of being a little bit more spiritual so they're saying when you start going a lot of people are realizing when they got more on the spiritual side they were getting a little bit more in tune with nature um and, and the overall universe as well as feeling energy you know understanding numbers understanding you know the signs that have been put in front of you this your whole life and a lot of us have not been paying attention from that and they're saying once you start going a little bit more spiritual you're going to start seeing that you're going to be getting a lot of new answers a lot of new things are going to be coming to you and you're going to be more in tune with yourself and you're going to be more in tune with your guides and you're going to start seeing that there was always people around you that was here to help you um that's what i'm getting from you aquarius says this year is a a, a, a good year for y'all it's about transformations um it's about y'all are going to be going through a lot of transformation y'all are going to be going through a lot of purging and i'm seeing a lot of y'all are you know desiring that change a lot of y'all are looking for that passion within so the next card that we have is success and like i was saying once you gain that you know you do the things that you need to do in order for you to um move forward a lot of y'all are going to be getting gaining freedom like i was saying earlier with the deception card comes out some of y'all are going to be removing yourself from certain uh attachments certain bonds that you feel you know that you, somebody was you know not overall being truthful the success is going to come once you remove yourself from that energy once you get yourself out of that karmic relationship or that karmic cycle um but a lot of y'all have success coming a lot of y'all have you know the answers that's going to help you going to seek the answers that's going to help you in order for you to move forward so again it says success i know that there is no greater goal than to love so a lot of y'all are going to be loving yourself a little bit more a lot of y'all need to you know put more into yourself put more self-worth um so you can do the things that you need to do in order for you to be on the right path so this is just basically confirming what i'm saying the ace of wands this is about past this is about you getting new energy this is about a new spark this is about you taking action and you gain an inspiration in order for you to be able to move forward um a lot of y'all are going to be a little bit more on the masculine side even this is for you uh feminines you're still going to be on the more masculine side you're going to basically um be able to dominate the things that you want to do you're going to put out the passion you're going to be you know moving towards the, the things that you know that's best off for you in order for you to be able to have a new cycle for you in order for you to have a new beginning and the ace of um 
wands also possibly could have been Aries. Somebody sparked a, a, a somebody. When you finding out that this person has been overall defeat, deceitful to you, um, I'm seeing that that's gonna um, spark some new. Uh, it's gonna spark like you're gonna get upset. They're saying some of y'all are gonna be very upset, and they're gonna they're saying watch your temper um, because somebody's gonna find out that somebody was um, not being overall truthful in a relationship is what I'm getting from this. Um, so they're saying ask for your ask your higher self to lead you to the answers um in in order for you to be able to move forward with this and they're saying that you're going to have to gain um passion you're going to have to be compassionate to yourself in order for you to realize like i said not for you to lose confidence and just knowing that this person was no no longer for you okay so aquarius is this is what i have for you let's go ahead and move on to gemini so again again this is for gemini so this is being rever um, reversed. So some of y'all Gemini's are dealing with financial issues. Some of y'all have possibly could have lost the job or, you know, you having to start all over a lot. Some of y'all could be, you know, lacking certain income when it comes to building a certain foundation. Um, some of y'all are dealing with somebody that was just there for, you know, the finances. They were just there to reap a certain benefit um, from you is what I'm getting from this. But this is also about some of you Gemini's are going to be actually um, putting yourself in a better position where you're going to see that you're going to be able to get new opportunities as far as careers. A lot of y'all finances is going to be a little bit better. They're saying by the end of this year, um, some of y'all are dealing with major financial issues and it's also making you have, you know, issues as far as your love life right now. And that's what I'm getting from that Gemini. Um, the next card that we have is third eye. So when the third eye chakra comes out, this is about you, your third eye opening up. This is about you feeling that energy between your middle of your forehead. Um, some of y'all need to wear purple, um, start meditating. Some of y'all also had had in the, the past mental conflicts or you were put in certain situations as far as your finances, which was causing you to have, you know, your third eye block. But I see a lot of y'all have been, you know, being a little bit more intuitive. A lot of y'all have been a little bit more, you know, um, wanting to seek that inner wisdom in order for you to seek the knowledge in order for you to gain your spirituality and a lot of y'all y'all have been noticing that your third eye is opening up um and when your third eye opens up it lets you see other you know realms other dimension it lets you see other um things that you have not been seeing before so i'm seeing a lot of y'all uh gemini's have been in oneness with the with you know the overall universe for a while but some of y'all have been dealing with certain issues as far as your stability which was causing you to be off ground is what i'm getting um some of y'all have had issues as far as when it came to your son some of y'all have been worried about um a son or this could be if it's not a son it could be like a nephew somebody that you see as you know um as a son uh some of y'all are getting this is giving you confirmation to not worry about your son your son is okay it says your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world and so if you some of y'all are noticing that your son is also going through their own transformation they're also going through their own spiritual awakening kids are very in tune with the overall universe they are very in tune with, uh, aware of what's going on with the, the world right now um and all the different things that we are um going through so they're saying if you notice that your son is going off on a certain path if you notice there's your son is going through um certain situations as far as his own transformation they're telling them don't don't worry so much um let him go on his own journey is what i'm getting from this the next card says do you but um if you believe what they're saying if you believe if you whatever you put your mind out to you achieve pretty much and they're saying as long as you believe as long as you think start saying i am start saying i will start saying i know you know those things like that those affirmations as long as you start praying and you start you know meditating you start you know doing the things that you need to do in order for you to gain the wisdom they're saying keep stay positive don't think negative about certain things gemini and whenever you if you don't think negative it's going to cause you when you tend to think negative it causes you to you know it causes you to not it causes you to doubt yourself and they're saying stop doubting yourself you have to believe within yourself you have to gain that inner strength in order for you to know that you are destined to get everything that's meant to come to you and they're saying if you believe you would get it if you believe you would get it and they're saying just don't give up um don't give up on your desires don't give up on your goals 
Um, that's what I'm getting. Some of y'all have been dealing with health issues. Some of y'all's health are getting a little bit better, but some of y'all have been dealing with health issues. Um, possibly could have been that you couldn't have the money to pay for certain, you know, medicines or certain, you know, uh, operations or treatments that you need to have. And it caused you to have some issues as far as your health when it comes to, you know, not having a, a financial, um, stability to, in order to buy the things that you need to be. So some of y'all, they're telling you to watch your health. Some of y'all have been a little bit healthier and you've been on it, you know, honoring your physical vessel, your physical body. You've been exercising. You've been doing the things that you need to do in order to keep your body um, healthy. And they're just saying, make sure you continue to stay on that path. Make sure that you exercise. Make sure that you're eating the proper foods in order to keep your health um it, in order to keep you out of the hospital, in order to keep you not being sick, in order for you to be able to have, you know, mental clarity as well as, you know, um, when you, your body, when you feel good, pretty much they're saying when you feel good, um, it, it basically removes stress and it causes you not to be so overwhelmed. And some of you Gemini's know that working out or, you know, you eating healthier, it makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. And then at that time, it causes you to remove any of that mental conflicts that you had about yourself or if you felt that you were not physically attracted or, or if you went through any type of insecurity issues, they're saying that you um, have been doing the things that you need to do in order for you to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more your health. Some of y'all had mental issues is what they were saying. Um, it was not necessarily like health issues. It was a mental issue um, as far as, you know, you having, do, you, you, you going through certain situations within your life that caused you to be in uh, certain things, um, your thoughts. Um, and some of y'all could have been also thinking about your past a lot or not letting go of your past. Gemini and it caused you to be in some type of mental strain is what they're telling me is that as far as that too. Um, the next card that we have is the page of wands. So again, let's say if somebody is worried about their son, the page card is about children. So they're saying, um, there could possibly be a fire sign child. Somebody is worried about this person could be a fire sign. If you are a Gemini and you're watching this and you've been thinking about, you know, worried about your son and your son is a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, they're telling you that he is okay. Um, just, just think positive and just know that he is protected is what they're telling me. Okay. Um, some of y'all also are gaining the passion. Y'all are finna, you know, have been being outspoken. Y'all have been being a little bit more daring. Some of y'all are realizing the potential that you have always had within yourself. So they're saying being a little bit noble. Some of y'all are getting ready to take off to, you know, new adventures. There could possibly, like I said, be, um, there possibly could be once you um, once you uh, start to remove those uh, self sabotaging mental thoughts that have been keeping you stuck. Some of y'all are going to be going on new journeys. Y'all are going to have new uh, adventures that's going to be coming to you. And that could be possibly, like I said, a new job. Or this could also be somebody new coming into your life. And it possibly could be a fire sign is what they're telling me, Gemini. Okay. Next card we have. So here we have Libra. So Libra flirt. So a lot of y'all have been, you know, flirting, being a little bit more flirtatious. A lot of y'all have opened up your heart a little bit more and put yourself out there. Some of y'all have been noticing that a lot of people have been flirting with you. Um, so this is about you just basically opening up. You just, you know, willing to accept, you know, people showing their, um, some of y'all, um, are finally allowing people like what they're saying. Some of y'all had like had fears about yourself insecurities about yourself and when somebody would come flirt with you it was causing you to like you were like i don't know why they would flirt with me i don't know why anybody would want to do that but some of y'all now you know move from that type of energy and you're allowing you know people to tell you that they're you're attractive some of y'all are like i said showing that you are attracted to certain people um certain people are showing you that they are you know wanting to take you out on a date or wanting to take you, you know, to, to, to the movies is what I'm getting from this. So they're saying a lot of people are going to be flirting with y'all Libras and y'all realizing that it says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So a lot of y'all are opening up. Y'all are getting ready to allow, you know, love to come in. Um, a lot of y'all have been getting the guidance. A lot of y'all have been noticing the synchronicities as well as the overall support. Um, like I said, love, a lot of y'all have been, you know, 
moving in certain directions as far as you know trying to heal your relationship as well as trying to be a little bit more loving um a little bit more nurturing and caring um a lot of y'all are you know going through certain things as far as you know transformations where you are seeing synchronicities you're seeing numbers you're seeing hearing certain songs over and over again or if you you are noticing certain animals or you know incense uh, insects like butterflies or crows or Anim, uh, owls you're noticing that you're seeing that they're telling you that you have a lot of um you have a lot of ancestors you have a lot of guides that's around you to keep you um to help you and move you in the right direction um a lot of y'all are going to be getting a uh, little bit more uh dreams in the 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 spiritual world is what i'm seeing um but this is also about you getting support from you know your soul family you getting support from you know um your higher self as well as the universe as well as god whoever you see as a higher power so they're saying that you have always been in tune with the uni universe um a lot of y'all are realizing that you possibly could be psychic or you could be very empathic is what i'm getting from this too let letting go let go so some of y'all um are deciding to let go of certain you know toxic energies within yourself that was causing you to stay stuck if there was any resentment that you had from a past relationship or any past hurts i'm seeing that y'all are finally letting that go some of y'all are going to be letting go of a certain relationship it could be um that you are deciding to remove yourself from a certain person because you are finding out that this person was overall sneaky or um or overall you know um had hidden motives is what i'm getting so they're telling you that you possibly have been getting the sing the signals and the signs for you to let go of a certain relationship is what i'm getting so this is um it's going to be for two sets of libra so some libras are going to be getting somebody um you're going to be flirting a little bit more if you have been single that they're that's what they're saying uh libras you are going to be opening up a little bit more and flirting with people and they're saying some um, Libras are going through a certain situation where they've been getting signs and signals for them to let go of a certain person in a certain relationship. It says, as you surrender the need to control, you release energy rapidly, attracts your desires. So like I was saying, if you let go of the past, if you let go of a certain person that you know that's not supposed to be in your life, that's causing you to not move forward in the right way, they're saying, let it go. Stop trying to control a certain situation. If a person is really showing you their true colors and you've been getting the signs you've been getting the signals and you're not paying attention that means that you are just keeping yourself stuck in a certain situation so they're saying some of y'all need to let go of a, a certain person it says ask for help from others so some, some of y'all have been asking you know friends and family members as well as just your higher self to send you the signal signal you send you the signs to help you get out of a certain situation so some of y'all are going to be getting a little some advice from certain people it could be you know readers or if you keep getting listening to a um a reading on you know youtube from other readers and you keep hearing the same thing over and over and over that is a sign um that is also you going out asking for help from other people and you getting guidance and you getting advice to help you you know move forward and help you understand exactly what you need to do so they're saying also ask the people that you trust is what i'm getting um next card that we have is service i feel good when i can help others so again some of y'all are going to be helping other people um some of y'all are like when you start flirting you're going to notice that you are poor could some people could be you know flirting with y'all and you're like why is this person flirting with me but this person could be coming in and feel it fulfilling their part of their soul contract that they have with you even if it's just for a little bit just for you this person flirts with you and you don't see them ever again in your life they're seeing that you're going to start seeing once you open up your um because the guidance comes out this is purple this is about third eye this is about your crown your crown chakra so so a lot of y'all libras possibly have you know activations in those areas and y'all really going to be in tune when you start noticing that certain people are going to be coming in your life and even if they come in your life for a little bit of a, mo a moment you're going to be noticing that these people have soul contracts um whenever you incarnated into you know earth into gaia that certain people have so you have soul con contracts with certain people and and certain people are put here to help you in certain situations. Let's say if uh, Libra, you were just feeling down and out one day and somebody just comes out and comes around and says, hey, you're beautiful. And that person could have just made a soul contract with you to say, just to cheer you up in that moment because some of y'all have thought about committing suicide before some of y'all have thought about you know you know because of the things that you have been through 
and in your past and you were not letting go and then you wanted to let go some of y'all were wanting to end your life and that's what they're telling me to say this so somebody is going to be catching this this message of what i'm saying if i'm going this di deep into this that means that there is somebody that was thinking that's going through this certain situation so I, they're trying to help they want me to help you understand how you know your soul family works yeah you may not never know these people you may not never ever see these people ever again in your life but they were put here just to help you for that one moment help you get out of something and they're saying that you're going to notice that a lot of people have been a service to you a lot of people have been in your life to help you get through certain situations and to get you out of certain things so they're saying pay attention to the signs pay attention to the synchronicities some of y'all like i was saying have been are going to be letting go of a certain relationship because when you have the five of swords come out this is about deception this is about you know um you know greed this is about somebody doing you know pay, playing some type of trickery trying to one up on another person so they're saying if you've been in a relationship where somebody was always trying to one up you or they were always doing something to make you feel like you know you were not you know a good person they're saying let that person go so i think a lot of y'all libras have a certain decision some of y'all are going to have a decision to open up a little bit more in order for you to you know allow a love to come into your life if you have been single for a while libra that's what they're saying flirt a little bit more um you know be a little bit more friendlier um and then you'll start seeing that you'll start getting being a little bit more happier for the ones that are not in relationships and you're just trying to open up again to love because you have let go of the past so hopefully this resonates for you um air signs leave comments subscribe to my channel like my video and i want to say thank you and you have a great day